Hi, my name is Wayne Golubic, and I am the senior estimator here at SoCal Estimating. <clears throat> we are professional flooring estimators specializing in commercial, multifamily, and residential projects. Uh, I have been using Measure Square for about nine, ten years now. Uh, but today I wanted to uh, show you a few tips and features of the new software Measure Square 8. Um, the first feature I wanted to show you is at the import stage. Um, once you import your uh, set of plans, you can actually double click on the sheet to see if that is the sheet that you actually want to import or not. And while you have that sheet open, you can actually scroll through those sheets to see the ones you need to import um, or if you don't want to import them. So for example, double click on this little sheet here. And of course, I don't need that one, but I can scroll through and say, yes, I do want to import this one. So now I know that's uh, page two. Um, let's say I don't want this one. I do want this one. So it's page five, and et cetera. Then you can just close this, and you know which ones you can actually click on the ones you want to bring in and not bring in, et cetera. So after you figure out that, then you hit OK, and it's going to actually bring them all in. And at this uh, point, you can actually set the scale to all of them. Say you have 40 unit types if you're doing multifamily and they're all quarter inch and you don't want to sit there and click quarter inch all the way down. You can actually go over here to this section over here, blueprint scale and hit eighth inch, hit select all. So all 40 of your units are going to be here. Then you hit OK and you can see over here to the right that uh, it set the scale to eighth inch. Um, another great feature is that you can actually uh, crop from this point. So if you have uh, sections like this, for example, and you want to crop these elevations, you can just hit this crop tool and crop that area. And down here, it'll actually bring that down here. And then you can just rename it as, uh, let's see, pool building <coughs> elevations. <clears throat> and then the scale, let's say it's eight inch. And you can continue cropping from here. You can crop as many as you want all the way down. It's really nice and, and it helps actually uh, with some of your projects where you can actually paste that onto the same sheet that you're doing the takeoff on. So your elevation is right there with it. It's a very nice feature. Um, from here, I'm just going to hit import to new tabs. Um, another nice thing is you can actually import all these into one tab uh, if you'd like, but I'm going to go ahead and import into all new ones. So you can see that I have all mine set up here as different tabs. Um, you can also crop from here. So for example, let's say I wanted to crop this floor plan. I can just hit right click, hit crop. <clears throat> just crop this and it sets it up over here. I can cut this out and put it into a new tab called floor plan. Paste it. So it's really, this, this allows you to do uh, all sorts of stuff. I like to crop and add um, elevations to my drawings sometimes. So I can actually cut this, add it to my um, floor plan. So there's my pool bathrooms. It's a great, great tool. Um, <clears throat> also, these tabs are nice and easy now that you can actually move them around really easily. Before, it was kind of hard to move them, but now you can just simply just drag them and move them wherever you want. It's really nice and easy to do. You can also rename them really easily. You can create names, manage your list, so you can actually create new names for them. Um, Etc. Uh, you can also set duplicated rooms from here. So right click on set duplication. Uh, for example, if you have, if you're using multifamily or doing a multifamily project, you can just, let's say you have 10, this is unit A, you have 10 units, 10, hit OK. Or, you know, corridors or any elevations that, or, uh, you know, levels that you might have. For like example, if office building all of them are saying if you want to do one and then duplicate it by three or whatever uh, it's nice 
<clears throat> nice and easy. It's all right there. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you um, was the materials. The briefly touch on the materials section. Right here is my um, all my database right here. This is all everything I have, products and services. And it's not that big because I do a lot of a commercial multifamily and there's so many different products out there. So I just try to keep it um, small. So you can see I have generic products right here. These are all my generic products, but if you actually wanted to um, add materials to this, it's really simple. You just hit this add button and just create, like let's say we want to create a broadland carpet, just broadland shawl, uh, carpet, square yards, change the color, uh, 12, 12 foot, 13, 6, 15, whatever it is, the, the length of the roll. And then, of course, the style. Um, <clears throat> uh, you can also do tile, every, anything. It's really simple. Just hit add and just create, let's see, VCT Armstrong. Uh, vinyl tile, square feet. 12 by 12, this is going to be tile. Once I create the material, um, I can actually just go in here <clears throat> to my, um, right here, open it up. I can see my materials right here that I just created. And then I can actually uh, edit it from here as well, change the color, uh, the size. There's some drop downs you can use. You can manually do it. You can add waste to that. Uh, and so on. You can manipulate all these from here. But it's really simple to create new materials. And of course, I'm only doing generic products because uh, I'll show you the next step and why I do that is because let's say I'm doing a big multifam or a big uh, commercial project and we have several carpet tiles uh, in the project. I can just right click, add that to my project items. Uh, we have a few uh, broadlooms that we're using, so add that, floor tile, add that, wall tile, add that. Uh, <clears throat> transitions, base, rubber base. So they're just all generic materials right now, but um, I can go in there and manipulate them or edit them, carpet, tile, uh, per the finished schedule. So if this one's Shaw, um, line, or whatever. Uh, then I can change the size per the size of the spec. <clears throat> I can also duplicate that and then change this one if it's Mohawk. Change the color. Change the size. Let's say it's 20 by 20. Or I can just type in whatever it is. Say I wanted to add waste or not. Save. Same with carpet, uh, broadland carpet. Um, uh, let's again just say Shaw and then <clears throat> change the color. It's the same thing. I can add, um, you know, let's say I have a pattern repeat of 18 inches by 18 inches. Let's hit save. Uh, I can duplicate that and I can duplicate that as many times as I want. Say I have five different broad looms and six different carpet tiles, a couple floor tile wall tile, etc. Uh, let me use this as a schluter. <clears throat> so it's this, I mean, I feel that this is the fastest way, unless, you know, you're using uh, the same materials over and over, but so many projects out there with so many different materials that, yeah, it's easiest just to have some, um, generic products and then duplicate them and then edit them per the finished schedule. So uh, now that I have my project, uh, my materials set here, um, I'm going to show you how to quickly do um, a takeoff in Measure Square 8, which this I find is the best part of the new software. Uh, it's really easy. You just You can just trace the perimeter of the project. I'm just going to quickly do this. Um, so I'm just quickly tracing the, the perimeter. i just right click to close it. And then, um, then I grab the draw wall tool. 
This is what allows me to really go quickly. I just add all my walls in now. And then after I add all my walls, then I can, um, then I can uh, start adding my doors and then I can start adding my material. <clears throat> But you can see how fast this is rather than tracing all around every single wall. This way is much faster. And it just cuts right down the middle of the wall. Of course, I'm not being as accurate as I possibly can, but um, you get the idea of how quick this is. But I'm just going to quickly finish this up and then add doors. And then I can add my um, uh, materials. And one thing nice about this add wall tool is that you can just add walls in the middle of the room. So, for example, if they have a uh, if they have if there is a uh, wall like a customer service desk or something right here, you can actually just add that in right there, and you can pull it down or you know whatever. It's just it's a great it's a great tool. I love that part of the program. It just makes doing takeoffs so much faster and easier. So uh, you can see that that was pretty quick. And then the next thing after I do that, I'm going to add my doors. I'm just going to add the doors at the uh, at the bathroom so I can give you an example of doing some wall time. Uh, that's another feature that's really nice on Measure Square 8 is the wall tile feature where you can do multiple rooms at once. Um, you can actually go horizontal and vertical with the tile now. Um, so I have, I have this pretty much done now. I'm going to go ahead and put some carpet throughout just to show you the seams, how easy it is to move seams around. and. <clears throat> move the direction, add cross seams, etc. Uh, it's real easy to drag and drop these materials too. You can see um, rubber base, just highlight. You can actually even add, let's say carpet all carpet tile gets this rubber base. You can view, modify. You can actually um, add that material to it so that you don't have base perimeter. You can also, like let's say for example, this is sheet vinyl, you can use um, key weld or self coving to this. Uh, since this is a uh, base material, it's going to be just base. But if you had heat weld, it would show a drop down for sheet or for uh, seams. But I'm going to put it at the heat at the perimeter. So now um, all my carpet tile, wherever I put this carpet tile, is going to have uh, going to have uh, a base. And wherever there's a wall, you can see that it that it cuts it out on both sides. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some floor tile in here. <clears throat> so you can see it's pretty easy, just drag and drop. Uh, as far as seams, it's really easy to move these seams around. I can just drag them over to where I want to be. So you can see I'm just dragging it. Um, if I wanted to add cross seams, I can quickly uh, just hit my cross seams and just manually put them wherever I want. Down here shows you, you know, you can even put a cross seam here and you can move that around to play with it down here to reduce yardage. But it's fast and easy. Uh, if you wanted to put multiple cross seams, there's, you can add up to three. <clears throat> yeah, but it's easy to, to um, add cross seams. Also real easy to, to, uh, to um, change the direction. So make sure you're on the actual material you want to change the direction. Just hit left to right, up and down. Or you can use the layout uh, direction manually. And this will allow you to change like each room. Like if I only wanted to change this room, it's pretty nice. You can also use these drop downs here, switch layout direction, switch the inside, etc. Um, pretty fast and easy to do a takeoff. I mean, you know, before the old program, that would have taken me about half an hour maybe. Uh, you just see I 
probably took me 10 minutes, maybe at the most, 10 minutes. Um, but uh, let me show you how to do walls real quick. The, this feature for walls is really nice. You can just click on the wall, go up here to view wall, and then uh, depending on your, um, your elevation, you can just right click here, add horizontal walls. So, you know, of course, I'm going to follow that. Let's say I have to go up five feet. And let's say I have a material in the middle here. Or I have two colors, one here and one here. Um, I just add my material just by dragging it and dropping it in. Super easy. And then uh, let's add my Schluter at the top. <clears throat> uh, it's so small, you can't really see it, but it's there. I can make it bigger. Let me use this base, it's four inches. All right, there you go. Uh, so yeah, you can see how easy that is. And then if you want to add it to all the other walls, you can just right click, go to, yeah, right click, go to product assignment, copy wall profile. If you want to just put it on one wall, just right click on that wall, paste wall profile. You can see it's the same thing. Um, if you want to add it to all walls, just uh, product assignment, Paste wall profile to all walls. <clears throat> um, if you want to add these to all the bathrooms, let's say that all your bathrooms have the exact same layout. Let's do just something conventional here. Um, let's do a four foot and then uh, wall tile with rubber base. No right click. Copy wall profile, then paste to all walls. So if I have this at all my uh, bathrooms throughout the project or in 10 of them, I can right click on that project or on that uh, uh, room and hit product assignment, copy room profile, and then highlight all my let me turn off the wall view. Highlight all my bathrooms, and then right click and hit paste room profile. Now all those have the exact same scenario as the other one. So it's pretty quick and easy. Um, <clears throat> of course, once you have everything estimated, uh, the next step would be printing it. Uh, you go up here to print, and this is nice. You can actually print to different paper sizes, plotter sizes. They're all right here. Um, it gives you a ton of different ways you can view the roll, the the actual um, the cuts and the seams, and, you know, the diagrams that you get. So if you hit OK, um, this is what you get. You can actually put the client's name and all that here. Uh, shows you all the materials, the layouts. It gives you a nice seam. Uh, you know, a nice diagram. It's nice and clear. It shows you the wall tile, gives you uh, dimensions. If you want to look at the dimensions, you can put those like I have here. And then you can just print it to PDF. Um, or you can um, uh, export it to Excel. Just hit export and export to Excel. Well, um, I hope that that was helpful for getting started using Measure Square 8. I was trying to give you some quick tips and, uh, you know, helpful insights on how to do a takeoff a little bit more efficiently. But this uh, Measure Square 8 has definitely helped me out quite a bit. I've definitely improved on um, my output. I've doubled it because of this, because of, you know, how fast and efficiently I can do a takeoff now. Well, thank you very much.